Hey guys, I hope you're all having a really great day. I'm going to do a really quick book review because I just finished reading a book and I want to talk about it, kind of. I just keep having these thoughts about it, so I feel like I can't really move on with my TBR until I do a little bit of a review of this book, so I'm going to today. The book that I want to talk about is Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King. This is the first A.S. King book that I've ever read and I really, really enjoyed it. This book follows 18-year-old Vera whose best friend Charlie has just recently died under very mysterious circumstances. And although Charlie stopped speaking to Vera many months before, she still knows the whole secret about what happened the night that Charlie died. There are several really great aspects about this book, the first of which is the writing style. A.S. King has a very unique writing style that's witty, sarcastic, extremely funny. There were times in this book where I literally laughed out loud. It was so good. You would think that a book with such a serious subject matter would be a little bit more serious, but it really wasn't. And I think that the kind of laid back aspect of the book really enhanced the book, in my opinion because everybody has read Best Friend Dies, main character is emotionally damaged and is brooding the entire book, but this one wasn't that. Vera really kind of makes an effort to not necessarily make light of the situation, but kind of accept it, I guess, is the right word. And it's just, it's really, it was a really refreshing take on a pretty popular subject matter. Another thing that I want to talk about is the narration in the book. While Vera is the prime narrator, there are three other narrators that kind of aid in the story. The first is Vera's dad, Ken. He only has about four or five chapters of narration, and all of his chapters are really funny because he talks about his life and his life before his wife left them, and Vera and how he feels about her. Not only do we see Vera's view on his dad in her chapters, but we also see what Vera's dad really thinks in his chapters. And it's really nice to get kind of an extra insight into a character without them being the main character. Another of the narrators is Charlie from the beyond, I guess. It's all of his chapters are labeled a brief word from the dead kid, which is really funny to me. Basically in Charlie's chapters, we are getting kind of Charlie's backstory and things that led up to his death. And we kind of find out what he was doing in those months that he wasn't speaking to Vera. And they were really good. They were probably some of my favorite chapters in the book because they were just really powerful, but funny at the same time. They just made me feel a lot of things. And it was, it was really nice. Again, insight into a character that isn't the main character was nice. And the fourth narrator is the Pagoda, which is a structure in Vera's town that has been there forever. And kids kind of go to it to drink and hang out and make out and all that kind of stuff. It's like the make out spot. And Vera describes it as a big, ugly monstrosity, and basically the Pagoda chapters are just kind of insight on the town and kids, and they're also really funny. Another really great aspect of the book was the characters themselves. Vera is a very well-developed character. Even her dad, even Charlie, is a pretty well-developed character, and some of the lesser characters, like the people that Vera works with, are pretty dynamic also. So there was really good character development throughout the entire book. And it was really nice to see Vera's interactions with all the different characters and kind of how she spoke to each of the different characters because there was really great banter with her dad and with her boss and then with her kind of love interest, but he's not really a love interest with, that, with him. It was good. It was a really well-developed book, I think. Reading Please Ignore Vera Dietz really made me want to read some more A.S. King. I have always heard that she's a really great author, and now I have proof, and my university library has all of her books, so when I return this one, I'm going to probably check out another one and read it, and I might do a review on it, too. In the end, I gave Please Ignore Vera Dietz four out of five stars. I really enjoyed the book, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody that is looking for a good laugh, but also a little bit more serious. It was just an overall really great book. So that's all for this review. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!